magic. Hi, I'm Lauren Slocum here in the studio at the Central Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce with Alyssa Knapp, owner of Integrative Wellness of Rhode Island. Alyssa, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me, Lauren. Thank you very much. And it's kind of bittersweet that I'm so needed these days. <laughs> it you is. Know. You know, we don't, we're practicing our social distancing. So we're being good, being apart, each in our own space. And we're hearing from a lot of people because of all the uncertainty with this. They're just kind of not sure what to do. They can feel the anxiety building and the stress is increasing. Thoughts, suggestions, tips? How can people kind of stop and Absolutely. take a Absolutely. Yeah. First, what I'm seeing, you know, the most, and I think a lot of people can probably relate to this, is that it's like the stress and anxiety of what can happen is really overwhelming more so than really the thought of even the illness itself and the virus itself, but it's more, what are the long-term repercussions? It's all of the unknown. It's how long is this going to last? How am I going to be affected financially? You know, it's because the thing is humans really like consistency. You know, we really like to know what our future is. We know what to expect. And I love, you can see my son crawling on the couch in the background. That's fabulous. That's, real, that's reality right now, right? It we're is. home with our families. We're making it work. And, you know, we're trying to not get an ulcer in the meantime. <laughs> that's very <Right>? true. <laughs> so so that's, that's where I come in. And that's what I kind of want to give you guys some tips today and ways that you can really just kind of balance right now and keep things in perspective. So my top tips that I'm giving at this time, one of them is to stick to the facts and nothing else. Don't go reaching for more information. Don't go reaching for more news. Don't go reaching for more updates. Just know that right now what the World Health Organization and the CDC are recommending is quarantining ourselves, doing the best that we can to stop the spread. Because as we've seen from previous epidemics and pandemics, as well as what we're seeing in other countries with the same disease right now, is that the sooner we can stop the spread in the chain of infection, the sooner that all of this is going to go away. And not to oversimplify it, but it really truly is that simple. So um, I know that there it's hard to say, like my husband's at work right now because he's concerned about what happens if I don't, you know, um, work and bring in a paycheck. And that's tough, you know, and that's the the you know, reality that a lot of people are facing right now. So it's sort of like looking at, all right, what can I do right now? So let's look at what we can do, right? We can stay home, we can wash our hands, we can do what we can to boost our immune system. And then everything out of that is beyond your control and we need to learn how to let those things go. And, and that's so how do we take that break? How do we, when, when we're thinking about all of the worst case scenarios and what if and what if, we can what if ourselves to the nth degree, so right this moment for anyone who's watching, what's the first thing they should do right now? The first thing is to become aware of those thoughts. So pause and really be conscious and kind of recognize where that thought pattern is going. When you realize that it's trailing off into those anxieties and those unknowns, you know, then you kind of pause, recognize that and not judge it. You know, don't beat yourself up for letting yourself get to that place. That's a big piece of mindfulness is non-judgmental awareness of the present moment. So just recognize that that's happening. And then honestly, when we're talking about what's going on right now, we're between two emotions, love and fear, right? So right now there's a lot of fear. So the, the pathway out of fear is love. And, and the key to love, one of the keys to experiencing that and getting out of the fear is gratitude. So I know it feels like there's a lot kind of against us at this point, but remembering that we're all in the same boat right now and, um, and just kind of pausing and, and, and literally naming things that you're grateful for. I mean, right now I'll give you my list. <laughs> I'm grateful that I have the technology in order to stay connected with the outside world during this time. You know, I'm grateful that I have the means to be home with my son and, um, you know, grateful for the fact that there are a lot of really positive people out there doing a lot of really good things, getting food to people that need them, you know, and things like that. So whatever it is that you can pause and be grateful for right now, uh, take a moment to do that and then really just count those blessings. And then remember, this too shall pass. That's like one of my favorite sayings that always gets me through tough times. And this is unique for a lot of us, especially myself as a young parent. This is my first time going through this, you know, as a parent. 
Um, and, you know, I know that's a, another big struggle, especially like my son back there, he's, he's three, you know, he doesn't, he knows that he wants to go to school and doesn't know why, but that's pretty much it. So I know a lot of people are home with kids that are asking questions that are really difficult to answer. And what we really have to remember as parents is that we're setting the example, we're setting the tone for how our kids are going to feel about what's happening right now. So as much as we can put on a calm face and, and breathe and do what we can to really stay grounded in the moment and be positive about what's happening, I know that's not the easy thing to do, but it's the thing that we have to do right now. And, um, and, and then our kids are gonna feel that effect. You know, you can feel when you're tense, you, that, that's energy that's rippling out into, you know, into your space around you. Animals feel it, our children feel it. Um, you know, other people around us feel it. So the, the more that we can stay calm, and sometimes we need to know that, right, what we're doing, staying calm is not just for us, but it's for, you know, other people in our family. So know that that's really the best way to, to help. So again, thinking of gratitude, becoming aware of those thoughts, coming back to the breath is one of the best practices you can do too to actually relax your nervous system. So one breathing exercise is if you um, take a breath in, and then you exhale, but you try to make your exhale twice as long as your inhale, that's actually a trick to activating your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your relaxation response. So if you inhale for four and then exhale for eight or inhale for three and exhale for six, that's a great way to trigger the, the nervous system to, to calm down. So if you find yourself get tense, that's a great little trick. That's awesome. Gives us something to just pause for the moment, be able to do something right now so that uh, we're not feeling so out of control. And that is the unknown it certainly it is. is what's adding to this. And we need to stay calm for our kids, for our family, for those around us. Uh, and thanks very much for joining us because this Thank is you. something that together, everyone's sharing their best practices, their survival tips, their ability to help us all be in a better place. We're going to get through this together much faster. Uh, I hear you're doing some different things with your classes online. I am. Yep. So I, I've um, turned everything virtual for the time being in the interest of social distancing and doing what I can to stop the spread of this as, as quickly as possible. So that includes uh, $5 classes. So these are virtual classes right from your living room, your couch, your bed, wherever you are. Um, they include stretching, meditation, and functional fitness, which is going to be really important, especially days like today when it's raining and we can't really get outside. You know, good to keep our bodies moving, very important for our mental state as well as uh, our immune system. So you can find those on my website, integrativewellnessri.com. Also going to be posting as much as I can some content for you guys on my Facebook page, which is at Integrative Wellness RI. I do have a free community group called Raise Your Vibration on Facebook. So I try to uh, post positive things as, as there as much as possible. And I know as silly as this sounds, but as much as you can, turn off the social media, you know, or at least try to keep it and limit it, your time on it. Um, I know it's hard, especially if we're confined to our homes, but you know, you have to think about what are the triggers that are making you stressed, what's setting you off. And for a lot of us, that's social media. So, you know, that might, might be one thing that we have to kind of tone down a little bit too, if we're working on calming down our stress. So as we tell our kids, limit our time, focus on other things and we'll be good. Thanks so much for joining us. If anyone has any questions, post them in the comments. We'll get to them as quickly as we can. Alyssa, again, thank you so much and uh, good luck. Together, we're going to get through this. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.